In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can enable input inside of your game in Unreal Engine 5, and I want to show you the easiest way to do so. So in your blueprint, go to the event graph, and then for example, the easiest way is to right click, and let's say you want to uh, enable sprinting on shift, tap in shift keyboard, and then you see this one here. Now this is the quick and dirty way to do it, and I'm going to show you that this already works, but it's not the best way, so now hit uh, shift and you see him walking faster, release, he walks slower. So this input already worked, but there is a better way to do this. Namely, go to edit, project settings, then scroll down underneath engine, find input, and then maybe this close for you, you have axis mappings and action mappings. And Unreal Engine probably has some set up for you, especially when you start with a project like, for example, third person template. Now, you can open these ones up and then see already what happened here. The keys that are used, and these are for the computer, and these are for other gaming devices. So let's add a new action mapping, because action mapping is the things we want our players and things to do inside of our game, and axis mappings is more for moving and turning around. I will show you this one a bit later. So let's click on the plus icon, then select this and type in sprint. And you can also click this icon and then hit the icon. So left shift and then create another one. And let's say I also want to right shift. So click here and type the right shift on your keyboard. Now what you can also do is not only use the keyboard, but also use the mouse. And if you don't need it, click delete. Or you can also click this one and not only keyboard and mouse, but also for example, the Xbox One controllers and then have one of these selected, or a gamepad, and for example, special left or something. Uh, and then you can just choose anything you would like and have your game exported to the different gaming consoles. Now, this already will work, so if I right click now and look for sprinting, or I name it sprint. So this is an action event sprint that I created previously, and then set it up like this, and then I hit the play button. So now left shift, and now I hit my right shift and they both work. And also remember when I added one of these, you can also hit touch or for Android, you can also enable these. So these are something to play around with. Then the axis mappings, for example, I already altered these. And you see here scale, and this uh, I was something explained to you too. So. You, most of you have a QWERTY keyboard, but I have an Azerty one. In Belgium and France, we have different keyboards, and I live in Belgium. So what I did, instead of uh, W to move up, so it or originally was like this, W to move up, I already enabled Z to move up. So you can have both in these. So when I go here and I type in Z or W, both of them will move up. Now, look what happens. When I go W and I apply scale of minus one, and then I go back to my game. So I hit W and now he walks back because this is on axis. So one is forward and minus one is back. So I can leave this as is, or I don't need it for me personally, so I can delete this. And same here with moving left to right. So I have Q, you should have A here. But again, my keyboard is a bit different, so this is what uh, you should have. And then I set it to minus one if I want to have the same inputs. But for me, this is not necessary. So except for moving and turning, most of your actions and special effects like abilities for your player, so with the F key or sprinting or um, some crazy attack will always be, of most of the time will be an action mapping and you can just add these here. So this is basically how you, and by the way, I did sprinting, but you can do it uh, like anything. So for example, I have another one here. So I hit the X icon, and when I uh, hit the X, he dances. But what I should have done, actually, if I wasn't too lazy, come here to action mappings, click the plus icon, name it dance, and then assign the X key. But this also uh, works, so for example, now he's dancing. So this is basically how you can easily set up input in Unreal Engine 5.